Hi guys, Miss Monserati here with homework from Chapter 12, Lesson 9, page 959 and 960. So here is our homework helper problem, right? This is what we did today in class time. We found the volume, right? When I find the volume, I find out how much can fit inside of this prism. This is a rectangular prism again. So I just take my length times my width times my height, right? These three numbers, I multiply them. So I'm going to take 13 times 6 times 8. So they did 13 times 6, and then they did this answer times 8, and they got 624. And I'm going to multiply it out just so you guys can see, right? 13 times 6 and 6 times 8. I would probably do my 6 times 8 and then multiply it times my 13. Right, I'm going to take my 13. I know 6 times 8 is 48. And I'm going to multiply those together. So I'm going to have 8 times 3 is 24. Carry my 2. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 2 is 10. I already multiplied times the ones place, so I'm going to put a placeholder here so I know not to put anything in that place. I do 3 times 4 is 12. I carry my 1. I'll get rid of the 2 now so I don't get confused. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. I'm going to add my two numbers together now. I got 4 plus 0 is 4. And 2 times 0, sorry, 2 plus 0 is 2, and 5 plus 1 is 6, 624, right? And then I can't forget, I'm multiplying three values together, so I'm doing centimeters, so I'm going to make sure my centimeters are cubed to the third power there. All right, so next one, find the volume of each prism. Ooh, I see a 10. I'm going to save my 10 to the last. I'm going to do 15 times 8, and then I'll just add a 0 at the end, right? I'll do 15 times 8. I'm multiplying these three numbers. So I'm going to get 15 times 8, and 8 times 5 is 40. I put my 0. I carry my 4. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. Right, and then I know to multiply times 10, I just take my number and put the 0 at the end. My final answer is going to be 1,200 yards. Right, that was the um, units that I'm measuring is yards. So yards cubed, right? I multiplied three numbers, three yards together, so I'm cubing it. This one, they already found out. They multiplied two numbers for me together. They found out that the two numbers, they multiplied the um, the length times the width. They found the area, right? We're calling it the base now of this shape. I know this arrow, you're like, what is it pointing at? It's pointing at the bottom of this. So 176. And now I just have to multiply that times 4. Right, I can tell this is my area because it has the cubed there. So I know they found the area of the bottom shape. And now times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry my 2. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 2 is 30. I put my 0, carry my 3. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 704. And I have to see what kind of units were we multiplying by? Centimeters. And I have two, right now I have three. I had two there and one there. I'm multiplying centimeters times each other, so I'm getting cubic centimeters, or centimeters cubed, 704 centimeters cubed. Fill in the blank with the correct term or number to complete the sentence. So, volume is measured in blank units. So volume is measured in, sorry, I was trying to find where it is in our book so I could show you the, oh, right here. Common units of are cubic. Right, I couldn't see where it told us that in our problems. I just said it a bunch of times, right? When I multiply these numbers together, the way I measure, I call them cubic.
it means to the third power, right? I'd have centimeters cubed. I'm multiplying the three numbers together. All right. Pause it if I'm going too fast. The Donaldson's swimming pool measures 15 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 3 meters deep. How many cubic meters of water will the pool hold? Right, there's their beautiful pool. It goes this way, it goes length, width, and then it also goes deep, right? I have to figure out how much, and right, if really I was doing this, most pools that you've been in, that I've been in, they're deeper on one end than the other. So I would have to measure my height differently, but we're just doing this for practice. So I'm going to take 15 times 8 times 3. I'll do my work over here. Oh, I have to do a drawing over here, so I'll do my work over here. So 15 times 8 times 3. I know 8 times 3 is 24, so I'm going to have my 15 times 24. 5 times 4 is 20. I'll put a 0, carry my 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 times, oh, I have to hold my place value right. 5 times 2 is 10. I carry my 1. And 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So my final answer after I add these three numbers together is going to be 360 Right, and what are we measuring? Meters, I'm going to abbreviate my meters, and cubed to the third power. 360 cubic meters, 360 meters cubed. Same thing, just a different way to say it. The hotel that the Hutching family is staying at on vacation is shaped like a rectangular prism. It is 234 feet long, 158 feet wide, and 37 feet tall. What is the volume of the hotel? So I'm going to get my piece of paper here since I'm supposed to put a drawing from number 7 in this box. So I need 234 times 158 times 37. And you guys are like, what? Oh my gosh, but it's such good practice with for you, right? We're practicing and learning about cubic um measurement and practicing our math facts all at the same time. All right, so 234 times 158 times 37. Is there an easier way to, to put these numbers together? I don't know. I'm just going to do my 234 times my 158. All right, we're doing three digits times three digits. So I'm going to need three numbers when I'm finished to add together, right? Really, I'm taking 234 and multiplying it times 100, then times 50, and then times 8. So I'll start with the 8. 8 times 4 is 32. I'll put my 2, carry my 3. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 3, 27, carry my 2. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 2, 18. All right, done with the first, right? I multiplied by the 8, so I'm going to put a 0 to hold my place value. I could put anything there. I'll just put a 0. Now I'm going to multiply every number on the top times the 5. So 5 times 4 is 20. I'm going to, I'll cross out the ones I carried before. Now I need to carry a 2 this time. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2, 17, carry my 1. 5 times 2, 10, plus 1, 11. But we're not done yet, folks. we got to keep going. All right, so now I multiplied the 1's the place. Now I multiply by the 10's place, so I need two zeros to hold my place. Now I'm going to multiply by the number in the 1's place. So, or the hundreds place, sorry. 4 times 1 is 4. And I'm just making sure I line up my numbers nice and straight or I'll mess up later. 3 times 1 is 3. And 2 times 1 is 2. I'm going to add these together. 2 plus 0 plus 0, 2. 7 plus 0 plus 0, 7. 8 plus 7 plus 4. Right, 8 plus 7 
is 15 plus 4, 19. I'll carry my 1. 3 plus 1 plus 1, 4. And 2 plus 1, 2. Hopefully you can see where I messed up here. I'm like, wait, whoa, 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 I better check. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7. 8 plus 7 is, is 15. Plus 4 is 19. I carry my 1, right? And then I had 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. I don't know what I was doing here. And my 3 plus 1 isn't 2. Hopefully you guys saw it. You're like, what? She messed up. And your brains just learned a little bit. Mine did. I'm like, wait, I messed up. I knew I messed up. So I had to pause and go check it. And I see it right there, right? 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 was 6. I forgot to add this one. And I forgot to add the one I was carrying. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So now I have 3,600, 3,006, sorry. 36,972, right? But I've only multiplied two numbers together. Now I got to multiply times 37, right? This is going to be a big old number. All right, 7 times 2 is 14. I carry my 1. 7 times 7 is 49 plus the 1. 50 and carry my 5. 9 times 7 is 63. I, got, I want to slow down so I can do my door the Explorer. You guys can answer before me. 9 times 7, 63 plus 5, 68. Carry my 6. Right, I did 9 times 7. Now I'm doing 6 times 7. Oops, and I carried my 6 to the wrong place. 6 times 7, 42 plus 6, 48, and I'll carry my 4. 3 times 7, 21 plus the 4, 25. All right, I multiplied everything times 7. I'm going to double check my work this time. 14, 50, I think I'm good. All right, let's keep going. And... Two, oh, so I need to hold my place value right here, right? So I know I'm going to line up my numbers nice and straight. So 2 times 3 is 6. I don't need to carry anything. 7 times 3 is 21. I'll put my 7. I'm going to carry my 2. Right, This is where I'm getting confused is borrowing and carrying. I carry my 2. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 2. I carry my 2 over here by my 6. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 is 20. I'll carry my 2. And last but not least, nine. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2. And then I have to add these two big long numbers together. 4 6, 9, 17, carry my 1, 6, 3, 1, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. So my final answer for how much but how much space is inside of this hotel, right? We knew it's going to be a big number because it's a hotel. Is 1,367,964 feet cubed, cubic feet. Oh, good. We have some smaller numbers for our next problem. Jenna over here keeps her recipes in a box with the dimensions of 7 inches by 5 inches by 4 inches. What is the volume of the box? So 7 times 5 times 4. I'll do my 7 times 5 first. 
or actually I'll do my five times four because now I'll have seven times 20. That seems like an easier option to me because I know seven times two is 14. Right, I can get rid of zeros and put them back. I did seven times two, 14, and put my zero back. 140 inches cubed cubic inches. All right, describe the dimensions of two different prisms that each have a volume of 2,400 cubic centimeters. Then draw each prism. All right, so I have two different shapes, but they both measure the same amount. So how could I figure this out? Uh, right, and it says then draw each prism. I'm going to draw them first. I'm going to just make two different rectangular prisms. And I'll make this one a little different shaped. I should have... I should um, think about it before I draw it so my shapes actually make sense when you look at them. All right, so I know 24, right? 24 is 8 times 3. So can I do 80 times 30? Oh, sorry. I'm going to do 8 times 3. How about 80 times 30 times 10? Right, 8 times 30 is going to give me 240 times 10. And this one over here, I'm going to say 6 times 40 times 10. I'll have the same height. So I'm going to say 6 times 40 Sorry, 6 times 40 is going to be 240, right, times 10, and I will have the same answer. Describe the dimensions. So I'm going to say shape A is 8 times, oops, and I should tell them centimeters, 8 centimeters times 30 centimeters times 10 centimeters. And shape B is 6 centimeters times 40 centimeters times 10 centimeters. And there's my pictures over there. Right, they, I didn't do a great job drawing my pictures. All right. What is the volume of the prism formed by the luggage bag? So I have 22 times 30 times 10. So let's do our 22 times 30 first. So I'm going to have 22 times 30, because then I can just add my 0 at the end for my 10. Here I know everything's times 0, so I'm just going to put 0. I could do 0, 0, 0, and then add in my next row, but I'm just going to put the 0 to my place. And I know 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 3, 3 times 2 is another 6. And then I'm going to take that times 10, right, it's just going to be the same number with a 0 at the end. And it's going to be inches cubed, since I'm talking about inches. And my final answer, B and done.